My name is Renata Calvary and I'm the author of Let Me Tell You a Story and this is what I'd like to do right now. Um, my experiences during World War II were not very happy experiences. I was a small child who was in, uh, left alone in the ghetto after my, pa my mother and grandmother were taken away to Auschwitz. I was looked after um, by very kind people who risked their own lives, both Jewish and uh, non-Jewish people. In my first realization there was something wrong was when we went down right at the beginning of my book into those cellars underneath and I really did not understand what was going on at all yeah. and then of course the ghetto and again the ghetto because both my parent my mother and grandmother disappeared the ghetto because I lost a canary eaten it was eaten in front of my very eyes by a cat the awful food, the, the, the appalling conditions for a child who had been brought up in luxury and surrounded by love, it was a terrible shock. And then this, I mean, it's, it's like Chaucer, actually, this bit about my, my nanny getting me out under her skirts. So they were all very personal memories. I mean, I had no really idea of, of the political situation and why all this was happening. It was. Just, it was just happening. I think that's how a child thinks, isn't it? Yeah. A few years ago, we were so, so, sorting through some papers and the photograph fell out, covered in something. I opened the photograph and it was a photograph of my mother, which I didn't remember seeing before, which I have given you here. And that really made me feel that I had a total debt to pay to write about it. And also, I wanted my children to know something about the past which is why I wrote it. I think I have a, in a way, although I'm very neurotic and very affected by my experiences, and increasingly so as I've got older, they come back, I think I have a pretty positive outlook on life, don't I? I've been very lucky. I have been very, very lucky. You know, I've been surrounded by people who care about me, who've been good to me. I'm very lucky.